Trustworthy communication of risk and uncertainty. If we want to be trustworthy, not to be trusted, if we want to be trustworthy, we should think about these characteristics and for what we do in all our work. We should, be, we should admit uncertainty. That's part of being trustworthy. And we've got to do it confidently. We shouldn't just say, oh, we don't know. We say, we know this, we know this, we know this. But we don't know everything. There are these things we're not sure about. So you lead with what you do know, then, be, then say what you don't know. But you've got to listen to and respect audiences. You mustn't be rude, say, oh, people are stupid, people don't understand this. No, listen, listen. Use multiple lead formats. One size doesn't fit all. There's no correct way of doing any of this. But, as long as you, but then you need to test what you're doing with audiences. But you've got to vigorously preempt un, un misunderstandings. You know, we know there's a contested world out there. Sub, you know, groups of people saying vaccines will give you autism. Groups of people saying there's no climate change, blah, blah, blah. You've got to, you've got to be, come in hard and say where they're wrong. Um, and you've got to work closely with communication professionals. You really need to. Um, you know, they've got a lot of skills, a lot of use. But you need to keep them under control to make sure that what is said is trustworthy.